So for our experiment, we constructed cells, cell models using dialysis tubing. And so then we filled the cells with varying solutions. And then we placed the cells in beakers containing water as a solvent, except in cell E, it was 80% glucose was a solvent. And we left the cells in the beakers for a total of 30 minutes, and then we recorded the map of each cell in 10 minute increments. And then we documented for each cell the changing map over time. So this is a picture demonstrating what we did. And the tubing is the cell. So the dialysis tubing was filled with the cell solution, which in this case was water. And so we signed off one end of the dialysis
Um, but some of the molecules that make up glucose are too big to make it through the semi-permeable membrane, which is also why I'm assuming. Glucose doesn't go through the tubing because for set up E, even though the concentration is higher on the outside, cell E lost mass because the glucose is not moving through the ion. Can you guys tell us a little bit about concentration gradient and how that applies here? Did you talk about that at all yet? Okay. So then, I'll ask you a different question. So you, yours was really about rate. So what what on this graph tells us about rate of diffusion? So when we're looking at this graph, there's a pretty su there, well, there are two surprising results. So what? How can you explain to them what the two surpri most surprising lines on there are? Um, one of the most surprising things is that the change in D was less than the change in C. Usually, when you um, have a higher, uh, the, when there's a greatest difference between um, one concentration versus the other, when it comes to glucose versus water. There's a greater rate of change because there's more decay. But what happened was, even though there was 80% glucose on the inside and one on the outside, there was 50% glucose and one on the outside. Um, for some reason, the 80% change lasts over time. It's probably an error of ours when we were actually doing the experiments, but we had no way to tell exactly what it was. Okay, so what could have been an error? that you guys thought of. So did you guys come up with it? So which one would have had a puncture if you thought it was a bit about a leak? Would it be C or D that would have had the leak in it? Could have caused that. So, um, so D didn't gain as much mass. So, anything else that could have caused that issue besides the leak? Uh, what could have caused it is that um, we might have had more space in one of the tubing for um, water to actually enter in the cell. So, it couldn't have right. been. Okay. Um, yep. That makes sense. Sorry to interrupt, but wouldn't an air bubble cause a, a higher increase than, than you expect, not a lower increase? <laughs> because if there was air in it which has less mass and now that space is being taken up by a liquid that has more mass, wouldn't you expect that to have a greater increase? Any other questions for these guys? Okay, thank you for that.